I'm back with a free thing that's a little different, but has been wildly useful for me, so I wanted to share it with you. I spend a lot of time using and evaluating machine learning algorithms for speech-to-text, text-to-speech, large language models, video enhancement, and video background removal, and installing them all hurts. It hurts so much. Either you stumble through the Conda or PIP-based dependency installation without a clue for what's going on and hate yourself, or you previously hated yourself enough to learn all that crap and then still suffer through it. Installing these things is just awful. Well, not anymore because Pinocchio exists. That's Pinocchio with a K. So if you type Pinocchio.computer into your browser, they advertise one-click integrations with so many popular AI apps. And while it's not actually one-click, it's less than a million and has worked for everything I've tried to install. So it's a clear win over the hellscape that I was dealing with before. Installation is super easy. You just click download, unzip that archive, and run the installer. If you're on Windows, you click yes a couple times and then pick a drive that isn't XFAT to install Pinocchio on. On Windows, you can find out if a drive is XFAT or NTFS by going to the file explorer, picking this PC, and then right-clicking on a drive and selecting properties, which will show you the partition type. In this case, I'm using NTFS, so we're good to go. Pinocchio also works on Mac and Linux, and there are instructions on the website for those platforms. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to pull down one of these AI apps and use one. So let's say we wanna do voice cloning where we wanna take a source voice and then use text to speech to generate new audio based on that voice. So we've got Pinocchio open and let's go find something. So to install a new app, first you go to discover and then in my case, we're gonna do voice cloning. So I'll type TTS into the search and there are quite a lot of text-to-speech and voice cloning capabilities already integrated with Pinocchio, but I'm gonna pick Open Voice 2 just to show you how it works. Let's see here, do Open Voice 2. Click Install, and then wait a really long time. We'll click English. All right. So we're going to record. So let's try to do something. Um, let's clone my voice, I guess. This is me talking into a microphone so that you can clone my voice, which is kind of creepy. This is me talking into a microphone so that you, yep. All right. Yeah, so we'll just do default. Let's try this. Pinocchio is an easy way to get open voice. Okay, well that's super creepy. This is my voice and I'm very creeped out right now. Yeah, that's super creepy. All right, so yeah, so it works great. Um, and that's it. One click and you're, well, clicks and you're here. But no work, really, just waiting. And everything is as it should be. Creepy. So, <laughs> yeah, so one pretty cool thing so here let's record a sample real quick this is a sample of my voice i'm speaking normally and i'm uh, entirely creeped out by this entire process and so i have a good reference so now i can pick us but i'm going to do uh great britain this is the best voice i could think of that's what i sound like with a british accent now Talking through all of the apps that Pinocchio supports would take several long form videos to cover, but I'm gonna hit a few of the wave tops on some of the AI apps available. This isn't exhaustive, it's just a few that you should try out if you wanna completely lose a weekend. So we'll go to the website, explore. You can also do this through the app. Um, the first one, Instant IR, th this thing is ridiculous. It's a image uh, restoration model that allows you to do some pretty creepy things with really old, bad imagery and video. Omnigen is a very impressive, it's not the best image generator in the world, but it does some really phenomenal things. And I think it kind of lights the way for where this is headed. It allows you to do, you know, object replacement, subject-driven de generation, obviously text-based generation, but you can then 
keep identity as you're going through it. So if you have a person from one image that you want to replace the person in another image with, you can do that and it will keep the identity or the face, the identifying information will all be retained through the process. You can, there's just quite a lot of uh, things you can do with this model that kind of show um, some pretty exciting stuff for the future. And one cool thing I like about Pinocchio, and this happens in the app as well, is if most of these things are done by Cocktail Peanut, so major shout out to, to them because this is just phenomenal, but they have all of the Twitter or X, whatever posts that show off each of these algorithms. They're not always there. Like for example, I had to go straight to X to show off instant IR, but um, in the most, most cases they're all here. You have Facebook, which allows you to manipulate facial expression, you know, by landmarks. So the eyebrows, the mouth, all that kind of stuff um, for just for an image. Uh, this is really built on top of live portrait. So you could take a look at that one. You also have background removal, object removal, um, face fusion, which is kind of the, the face swapping state of the art right now. Applio, which if you're really trying to do voice cloning, um, Applio is kind of the, what I would recommend over, even though I showed off, even though I showed off open voice two, which is rather impressive. Applio really is the standard. If you're trying to train a voice and get a real clean clone, um, Applio would be the one I recommend to use. Live portrait's pretty cool. Um, a lot of these, uh, are, somewhat rough duster which is image and video to 3d it will allow you to do full 3d manipulation of basically just from an image there's a lot of applications like this out here but this one's actually pretty fun fun to work with it will take a video and do reconstruct the the scene in the video it's not the cleanest but it's fun to play with you have audio Diffusion, like stable audio is in here. SDXL, stable diffusion XL is in here. You have a lot of LLM trainers. Auto GPT, you have Llama Factory is available in here. Hello, which is a, you give it an audio file and an image and it will animate that image so that the person is talking, speaking that audio. Um, yeah, I mentioned Llama Factory. That one's a, that one's really good if you're trying to fine tune LLMs, specifically the Llama model, obviously. Parler, uh, interesting text-to-speech model, um, allows you to get some variation, a lot of variation in the speaker type, um, where you can just give it text descriptions of the audio to say like, oh, this is a high-pitched male speaker or low-pitched male speaker, etc. A lot of image in painting models, a lot of um, image restoration, super resolution again. Remove video background is quite impressive. Here's a video with uh, Peter Griffin and it's just one click to remove the video background. It works quite well. That's just a few of the apps available in Pinocchio. A lot of interesting stuff there. A lot of it's going to be rough and really unusable in a production environment, but quite a lot of it, um, as you saw with open voice too, with very little voice training is producing impressive results from such a small corpus or small data set used to train it. And a lot of these, you really can get quite phenomenally production ready outputs from. So worth looking into, uh, let me know in the comments, if you want me to go deeper on any of these specific algorithms or any of the, or solving specific problems with AI applications. I know this video was a little different, but I spent a lot of time researching and investigating uh, machine learning applications and machine learning uh, advancements. And so I want to share that with you. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to go deeper into content like this, whether it's covering more cutting edge machine learning and AI or walking through some of my favorite algorithms available in Pinocchio. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.